Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today's another green bean day. We've done several different things with green beans so far. Today, we're going to do something simple, just green beans and potatoes. Okay. I've had these potatoes soaking overnight in lemon juice and I rinsed them a bit ago. I soaked them in lemon juice to keep the uh, color from turning. So they should look pretty well white whenever we get done with them. Just enough for four jars. Great. Okay. I have dry canned green beans and I have dry canned potatoes. But today, it's going to be beans and potatoes. Now, I love to cook potatoes in my pot of green beans. So this just seemed like the logical thing to do. Just throw them together. And ever since I have discovered dry canning vegetables, this is the way I do the majority of my beans and potatoes. The flavor is just so much better. Okay. Push those green beans down in there. Let me move that so you can see a little bit better. But I'm not going to add any liquid to these guys. Okay. You can add salt if you would like. I'm not going to today. My family doesn't like a lot of salt, so half the time I'll leave it out. But I'm bringing that up to the top because I'm not going to add liquid. And if you're not adding liquid, you don't have to worry about any type of liquid siphoning out of the, uh, the jar. That's why you leave headspace otherwise. But these are going to cook down. And it's going to taste like a roasted veggie. Yeah, it, it really does. It has the flavor of a roasted veggie as compared to a boiled veggie. And if you folks have ever had something called shuck beans, shucky beans, leather branches, they go by several different names. But the flavor is really similar to that with this. But beans and potatoes. Let's get these jars filled, folks. I've got the jars filled. I'm wiping the, uh, the rims off with a wet paper towel. You can use just water or you can use vinegar. It's your choice. Normally on something that doesn't have meat in it, I just use a wet paper towel. But like I say, it's your choice. But if you use meat, you always need to uh, use vinegar. As you see, no water. Just potatoes and green beans. Okay. I have washed my flats with today's recommendations. You do not have to, uh, to get them hot. You just rinse them and you're good to go. Okay. I always use a new flat every time that I um, can. A lot of people don't. That's your choice. I've just always been afraid I would do all that work and it not seal. But a lot of people do it without any problems, so that's just another part of Rebel Canning, guys. Your kitchen, your rules, whatever works. But for myself, I'm a little hesitant, so I do use a new one. But the rings that go around here, you can reuse time and time and time again. Let's get these in the uh, pressure canner. I'm gonna bring them up to temperature and I'm gonna let them vent for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to cook these for 25 minutes. If they had meat in there, it would be a 90 minute cook before it's just veggies. The green beans recommends 25 minutes. Okay, air canner has cooked for the proper time and the uh, pressure has dropped off of it. So 
Let me get pot holders. potatoes on the bottom and green beans on the top and folks it's already sealed the majority of the time whenever I have dry canned anything it has been sealed whenever I take it out of the canner so that is absolutely fantastic enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And guys, we'll see you on the next video.